How in the world should the free press cover Donald Trump? Here are nine suggestions. Number one, stop treating Trump's tweets as news. Two, don't believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. Three, don't fall for the reality TV spectacles he creates. For example, his meeting with Kim Jong-un. They're not news either. Number four, don't let his churlish, thin-skinned, vindictive, narcissistic rats divert attention from what he's really doing. Number five, focus on what he's really doing and put the day's stories into this larger context. He's undermining democratic institutions, using his office for personal gain, sowing division and hate, cozying up to dictators while antagonizing our democratic allies around the world, violating the rule of law, and enriching America's wealthy while harming the middle class and the poor. He may also be colluding with Putin. Six, stop reporting about the Republican Party and start reporting on Fox News, which is both Trump's propaganda tool and his focus group for how to build power by dividing America with lies and hate. There is no Republican Party anymore, only Trump and Fox News. Seven, keep track of what his cabinet is doing. Sessions attacks on civil rights, civil liberties, voting rights, and immigrants. DeVos's efforts to undermine public education and Zinke's efforts to gut the environment all their conflicts of interest, and the industry lobbyists they put in high positions. Eight, don't let Trump use your journalistic goal of balanced reporting against you, giving equal time to the truth and to lies from Trump's enablers and followers isn't balance. This isn't a contest between right and left, Republicans and Democrats. This is between democracy and demagogic authoritarianism. Finally, don't let him rattle you. Maintain your dignity, confidence, and courage. Our democracy depends on you.